good beautiful people welcome back to my channel if this is your first time watching any of my videos welcome if you are returning welcome back gang to another video so you can see by the title what we're doing let's go ahead and get into it i'm taking down my old hairstyle that i've been wearing all week because my hair been screaming for a wash so it's time to go ahead and shampoo and condition this hair so we can get into the twist out i'm just taking it down and i'm detangling my hair using a wide tooth comb this is a lifesaver for me because anything else tends to pull at the hair and not really detangle it so i want to make sure i get it in nice and detangled before i go in and shampoo and condition it So as you can see, we got it all combed out and detangled. We got us a nice little fro going on here. Now we're gonna go in and we're gonna proceed to shampoo and condition my hair. The first thing I like to do is I like to wet it, of course, and then we're gonna start with the first shampoo. I like to take it and start putting it at the ends of the hair shaft and then work it all the way up to the root. If you start at the root, you tend not to get a full, um, what am I trying to say? It tends not to flow through the hair and the hair shaft evenly. Uh, a lot of their product tends to be bulked up at the root. So if you start from the end of the hair shaft and work that product all the way up to the root, you kind of get it a little bit more even and spread out throughout the shampoo, uh, I mean throughout the hair. And so now you see I'm just using the, the tips of my finger, uh, the balls of my fingertips, and I'm just kind of using that um, to... Um, massage my scalp and get that dirt out and I'm also detangling my hair as I go so that I'm not pulling on my hair as I shampoo it but yet just want to detangle those knots out so we're not pulling any hair out so the first lather I mean so the first wash you see we don't have that much lather just because in the first shampoo uh the shampoo is really cleansing out the scalp and getting all of that dirt out of there so um you don't see as many as much foam um or lather in the hair but you see them waves though <laughs> them waves poking through so now we're just going to uh just rinse out that shampoo and then we're going to proceed to move into uh the second shampoo so when you're shampooing your hair you want to shampoo it twice the first one is just to really get the dirt out all of the dirt that's why you don't get as much lather as you can see in this second one we're getting a lot of foam a lot of lather because the hair is a lot more clean um and so the second one is just to make sure that we uh remove all the dirt kind of like a checkup behind the first shampoo and i like to use my wide tooth comb now because i'm going to just really detangle the hair and get all of those knots out so we can get that product evenly throughout all of the hair getting all of that dirt out because this is our last shampoo that we're going to do You know, it's crazy because I really appreciate this deep sink that I got because it was such a struggle in my last place trying to <laughs> wash my hair on camera for you guys. But we made it through. And so now I'm able to really, uh, it's so much easier to shampoo my hair now in the sink. All right, so we're going to wash that out. We're going to rinse that out of the hair. Um, so we can move into conditioner now for the conditioner you're not really gonna see me put that on but I put it on just like I do the shampoo I start at the um, ends of the hair shaft and kind of work my way up through the hair shaft and to the root um, but what you're gonna see in the next clip is like me actually shampoo I mean actually uh, detangling and combing um, the product through um, I like to use my detangling comb for shampooing um, and for when I condition just because it helps evenly distribute the product throughout the entire hair and when you comb it through you're not you making sure you're not missing any spots because everything um, out the product gets on all of the hair so we're gonna rinse that out um, and as you can see, I, uh, I like to really just squeeze my hair to drain that water out. So I, show, I showed you that for every clip, that's what I do at the end 
um, every time I wet my hair, I like to drain that water out just so that I'm not dripping water throughout my house and stuff like that. All right, so now I'm going to actually part my hair so that I can put the hair mask on because I need a deep condition. My hair was in those braids that I had uh, for a, a good little while. I had did those braids in May and I kept them all the way up until September. So I really need to um, deep condition my hair. So I like to start kind of like I, you part braids for like uh, maybe medium knowledge, but I'm only going to do three sections and I'm going to use my ear. So my first section was at the back of my ear from one side, from the left to the right, to the back of my ear. And then and the second session is going to be, I mean, the second, yeah, the second section of hair is going to be on the top of my ear, ear to ear. And then the first section is going to be from the front of my ear, ear to ear. So if you're wondering like how I parted that, that's how you can map it out just by using your ear. Um, and so I'm going to put it in sections and I'm going to take a hair mask. So the reason why I'm opting to do a deep condition with the hair mask versus with the regular conditioner is because I need a little bit um, more moisture in my hair. Um, and so when you put on a hair mask and then you put heat on it, the hair shaft lifts and it allows for all of that moisture in the hair mask to really penetrate deep into their hair shaft which is going to provide excess moisture to the hair and that's what i want that's really the purpose of using a hair mask um for a deep condition um yeah so i'm going to actually comb because that's that's your best way of distributing product throughout the hair evenly is to use a wide tooth comb or maybe a demi brush whatever may fit your style for me you can see i have this 4c beautiful 4c hair and so because my hair is a little bit more coarse um i need to use a wide tooth comb just so that i'm not pulling on my hair um i'm more so detangling the comb the the, the teeth of the comb it's wide enough so that it's not really pulling on my hair but it's giving enough space to be able to detangle it and help it um you know just be a little bit more softer and easier to work with so we're going to go to the front this is the last section that i'm going to put the hair mask on it's really just the same way i do anything else just start at the roots and i just like to uh work from the roots to the hair shaft now sometimes i get a little bit more product in one area than the other but you know i try to go you know keep going and distribute their product throughout the hair um but i try to save product because you know that's why I love this technique because it kind of helps with saving product because you don't want to use all of your product. These products for natural hair is expensive, honey, expensive. So you can see I got my um, Black Panther Fro going on here. And so, and I'm talking about the Black Panthers from back, back, back in the day. Um, <laughs> but I only have minimum breakage. You can see there's not a lot of dead hair. Um, a lot of I'm not not a lot of dead hair <laughs> sorry now I don't have a plastic cap I ran out of plastic cap so I'm going to show you an alternative way that I learned from Graham Flat get that I learned from a glam fam I'm getting tongue-tied twisted shout out to glam fam TV on YouTube but I'm going to use this plastic bag um, that you can get at like your local corner store or anything like that but this is just like an altern a alternate to use um, just to protect the hair because even though you don't have a, a, a plastic bag that you would normally see used in the salons you can still you know improvise and so this is me improvised because I don't have any and I'm also was it was a good you know um, opportunity for me to show you an alternative that you can use if you don't have a regular plastic hair cap that you can find at the beauty supply store so now i'm just going to sit under the dryer for 10 minutes when you're doing deep condition which you can catch up on some reading or you can catch up on watching some tv but what you want to do is you want to do 10 minutes under the heat and then you want to do 10 minutes um without any heat just to help the hair cool down and then you want to rinse it out 
in the water so this is what i'm doing now is rinsing that out of the hair and so what we've done is we've added a lot of moisture back into the hair so here i've blow dried the hair you can see the scalp is looking real good hair is looking real nice and healthy and that's what i like i haven't added any oils or anything to it because you know i just clean my hair i like to let my hair stay clean for a little while instead of just going ahead and adding all those oils and stuff into it which i'm not really a big fan of using a whole lot of oil anyway so that that's not really my thing so now we're going to go ahead and get into the twisting um part of it and which at this moment y'all i'm about ready to get over with because trish and i got on my nerves and i'm just ready to go ahead and get this part over with so i can chill and relax so that's why i got that very just blank <laughs> face <laughs> so i'm like okay you done got on my damn nerves <laughs> But I'm just actually sectioning off the hair to make it more easier to do the twist. And I'm using a lot of body mousse. Uh, mousse. Now, this is the cheap kind. I'm going to be honest with you. And one um, recommendation that I can give you, because this is the first time that my twist actually was the bomb. And so what I'm doing is I'm starting at the root. And I'm twisting from the root. So as soon as I begin to actually twist it, I'm starting at the root. And then I'm going to begin to twist down. So I'm actually twisting um both of the pieces outward and then i'm twisting them around together that's why i look like a rope just kind of slowly twisting them outward and then twisting them across each other so you're gonna see a little slow-mo twisting out and then over and then twisting out and then crossing it over this is how you get that juicy effect twisting it out and then crossing them back over and i do that as soon as i start twisting um, from the root to make it real tight um, even though some people like to braid it at the base and then um, switch over to twisting it but me I just like to twist it from the base all the way down to the ends um, but what I was gonna say now one recommendation that I can give you while while you watch me just come com complete the back is that when you're using like a cheaper mousse use a whole 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 lot of mousse like to the point where it's like, damn, I'm, maybe I'm using too much. No, that's what you want. You want to use too much. So that's the best advice that I can give because this is the first time that my twist had actually came out like really good. Like the, the twists looked nice. They looked juicy. They looked cute. I would have worn for a couple of days, but just to be honest, I just didn't like how I looked it. <laughs> I just really didn't like how I looked it with just the twist. So I was like, nah, let me take them down. So I only had them in, I only had the twist in for probably like maybe what, 12, about 12 hours. But I should have should have kept them in for about 48 hours just so they can be nice and, and um, you know, nice and, and twisty, I guess. <laughs> Let me stop playing. But yeah, I'm just working the back. So I'm going to let, let y'all just, you know, watch me um, twist it. And you can see now, you know, I'm kind of in the move. I'm just twisting. But I'm still using that same technique where I'm going outward and then I'm twi I'm crossing it over. So I'm twisting it outward and then I'm crossing them over each other every single time. And so that's the back. I just finished like those first two rows and then now the whole bag is complete so we're gonna move to the front so i didn't want to make them real small and i had it in my right mind to do front twists like flat twists in the front because of how i like to wear my hair but i was just like you know what i just keep doing what i'm doing it's cool but i really think i should have did the flat twist now they don't have to be like a certain type certain size they don't have to be small they don't have to be big it's just really about whatever you want because once you twist them out you're gonna have like a really nice pretty uh you know style anyway so it really don't matter if you make them big or small it's really your own preference of how you want to do it so you can see now i'm really putting a lot of mousse on there um and i'm gonna comb it through just to kind of make the hair a little bit even before i start twisting it um, and get any detangles out and I want to make sure that the product is all the way through the hair you see I'm trying to make sure that it's on the roots as well and now I'm going to begin twisting so I'm going to part the hair you see that I'm parting it kind of like in the middle and I'm twisting right off the back see I'm constantly twisting 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 and see the gag is that I'm never going to let the twist go I'm never going to take my hands off i'm going to continue to twist all the way down to the base 
Now, once I get down to the bottom, I'll add some more mousse to it, uh, but you probably won't see me do that. But as you can see, I never take, never stop. I just constantly keep going and going and going. And it's going to loosen up once you let the twist go. That's why some people like to braid the base, just because it does get a little loose. It's really up to you. It's at your discretion. Me, I don't mind just twisting it. It doesn't matter. Now, if you're going to wear it for a long amount of time, like see, this is just like overnight. But if you're going to wear this type of style for like longer than 48 hours, which is two days, then I would suggest braiding it at the base because that allows for it to sustain for a long amount of time. If you twist it at the base, it's going to come apart. Like the style won't last you um, as long as it would if you braid it at the base. <clears throat> but this is just for, you know, one night only, one night only, in my little Wayne voice. So... <laughs> Now, you see, I, I'm starting to use more mousse at the front because, you know, I'm catching on. Like, okay, maybe I need to use more mousse. But I would still even use more mousse than this at the front. And I just not realized I had mousse on my forehead. That's crazy. All right, but now we're going to the other side. Now, this is the reason why I feel like I should have did flat twist because, you see, I got the part in the middle. And I should have never did that because the way that I wear my hair... You know, I like to have like some going to the front, like like Annie. I like to wear my hair like Annie. And you know, like, I don't know if a lot of y'all is old enough to know who Annie is, I don't know. But I like to wear my hair like Annie. And, <laughs> and um, yeah, it just, you know, that. <laughs> I should've did for that twist in the back. But it still, the twist still came out very cute. So I'm not even mad at it. And so this is the last, no, this is not the last one. Yeah, this is not the last one. Okay, this is not the last one. But we slowly but surely get in there. We, we working out with there. And you can see I keep a nice grip as I'm twisting um, that twist. Like I keep it nice and tight. It, it starts to loosen up at the end once I let it go. But... Um, when I twist it, it's nice and tight. And that's actually, if you like that nice and tight look, that's how it looks when you have it braided at the ends. It kind of stays looking like that. It doesn't puff up. That's why people um, prefer braiding um, the base because you never see that puff. It stays nice and smooth. All right, so there you go. And I know I look like a little boy, but you know. I'm not a young man, baby. <laughs> but I be playing too much. So now I'm gonna take some oil. I'm gonna take some oil, some olive oil from the family dollar. And I'm going to um, just put a little bit, I put a little bit on my fingertips and I'm just using it to take down the twist because I don't want to use a whole, whole lot. I just need it to kind of help put a little uh, oil on the twist just to kind of help it have a little shine um, because we're really not adding any moisture or anything with the hair. It's really just to have it a little, give it a little shine and it's easier to, to, to unwrap the twist. So you can see like the twist actually really do look good. Um, and once we get them all down, we're going to kind of like pull 
the pieces apart just a little bit more of the twist just to make the hair a little bit more fuller. And so you can see now it's starting to look full. And I thought it was going to turn out a little different because um, it's a certain look that I was going for. And I really don't like it. But I think that I need to let the hair, my hair grow out a little bit more to get the look that I'm looking for. Um, but it's getting there. So I really didn't like how it looked at the end. So then I tried, I started to improvise. Because um, you will see what it looked like once I take everything down. But I really, well, I really wasn't feeling it. So... All right, so this is me trying to like, I don't have a pick. So I'm trying to like make it a little bit more bigger because like I said, it's a look I'm going for, but it wasn't kind of like acting like how I wanted to. Um, so even though it's still cute, I started, I decided to improvise and I decided to do kind of like this half up, half down style. So I took my eco style and kind of got me a little part going on the sides of the ponytail and I'm just gonna brush it up just to make it nice and smooth um but I I really like I really like this little style right here though this this John really do get off just because once I put the ponytail on um once I put the ponytail in you really can't see like the rubber band or nothing because the hair just kind of falls on top of it and I don't know my hair John just really really cute I don't know it's just really fine to me. And you can see, like, it just falls right down. I don't know. That's cute. But this is the end of the video. Uh, don't forget to practice being the best version of yourself each and every day. Thank you for watching, y'all. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.